Howdy ho, good neighbor. Coming to you live from 880. I know you're not supposed to be driving and videoing. Well, I'm not holding the camera, let's just say that. Hands free. I said I was gonna stop filming the homeless. But there was something on the news yesterday that I just could not turn away from and I thought you guys should know about it. Homeless people are living in trees. They're building tree houses. Can you believe that? Or would you believe that? Well, watch this news story. Tell me, what do you think about homeless living in the trees? So if you're a property owner, Take care of your trees or they're going to be moving in. Peace. In the Bay Area housing crisis, KPI Times Kit Doe is in Fremont where they're kicking people out of the trees. Kit? If you were to pass by here and didn't know to look up, you probably wouldn't even notice these tree houses. But neighbors tell us sometime back in February, this all started with one tree house. And then a couple months later, we are now up to five or six. Hello. Here in Fremont, ingenuity and desperation have brought us to this. Half a dozen tree houses nestled high up in the branches of a row of eucalyptus trees in an industrial park where they have been for months. Getting into the structures is no simple task. Some of them are three stories high. This one has a makeshift ladder, albeit with rungs sparsely attached. Climbing up is a lot like solving a puzzle. Once inside, you get a better look at the craftsmanship. Whoever did it likely has some experience at construction and access to power drills, cross beams, support beams underneath, and support straps above. Trash? There's a spot for that too. Neighbors tell us they use scrap wood from nearby discarded pallets. The result is remarkable. So inside the tree house now, it is probably about eight feet by about seven feet. It's sturdy until you start to shake it a little bit and it does wobble, but it does feel pretty sturdy at first. It's not the most glorious place to live, but I gotta say, it's probably better than sleeping on the street. This man, who went by the name of Mark, said he did not live here, but was just here admiring the construction. Would you consider now living in a tree? Seeing how it's done? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think it's a good idea, actually. The last time we documented homeless people living in trees was in 2017. Officers were called out with an escort of the squatters down from the limbs, but they were nowhere near as high as the ones in Fremont today. But it looks like they won't be here for long. Crews have spent the past few days trimming and cutting off the lower limbs, and they are closing in. I think it's actually what people would benefit from if we have the right uh, knowledge of trees and whatnot. And so Fremont police were called out here some time ago. It turns out this is private property, and so it's up to the property owner to hire and pay for all the crews to limb up these trees and then remove the tree houses. They've been working for a couple of days. It looks like they've got at least a couple more days' work left to do. In Fremont, Kitdale, KPI X5.